Sometime last winter, I got an email from someone asking if I'd help them with a keynote speech they were delivering. I'd never met this person before. His name was Rod, seemed like an awesome dude. Uh, said, absolutely. So we arranged a date. He flew into South Florida, and we met to chat about the project. Now, a lot of time has passed you know, since then, and the reason I'm bringing it up now is really twofold. Um, the first and probably the most important is that I walked out of that meeting a different person than when I walked in. And I want to share my lesson learned because I know there are people out there that will help in a similar situation, maybe without even knowing it. And the second is, it's a perfect example of those emergent properties that uh, seem to evolve out of life after you know, days, months, years of compounded hard work that I talked about in last week's video. So back to the story, we're sitting there and he's telling me a little bit about himself. Uh, he started multiple multi-million dollar companies, produced major motion pictures. Incredible dude, done incredible stuff. He sort of makes his way to the speech, which is why he was there. Talks a little bit about his vision, what he's written, where he could use my help. And, you know, eventually asks Eddie, what's it gonna cost me? And I didn't care, right? I just wanted to learn from the guy. I mean, he's done some amazing stuff. Uh, and just being around interesting, motivated people, you know, the more friends you have like that that inspire you to push the bar, the better. And I remember, I just sort of threw out a number, a low number. And he looked at me, and uh, <laughs> he, I'll never forget it. He goes, Eddie, come on, man, be a fucking salesman. And uh, he pulled out a check, wrote it for like five times more than I've, I, I usually charge for something like that. Um, and goes, from now on, you're never worth less than this number. And, and I drove away a completely different person than when I pulled it. I mean, Rod essentially uh, shined a spotlight on the fact that I was capping myself, that I was creating walls around my potential, but not just economically, in a lot of different areas of life. It reminded me that we set our own value, we decide our worth, and it's very easy to undersell ourselves. The value you depict, the value you portray, well, that becomes your reality. Right? And I've been sort of in the weeds, in the micro level, uh, you know, I, I've always felt like I could take on X, Y, Z, like throw it at me, I'll, I'll figure it out, I'll make it happen. But how easy do we forget, looking in the mirror, that we have to define the person looking back. We have to believe ourselves to be better, more, bigger. That's not a subconscious thing. You have to make time for that. I'm not just a writer, producer, filmmaker. No, I'm one of the best writer, producers, filmmakers. That is how you have to look at the world. Things aren't bigger because we don't up the ante. We're not richer, bigger, faster, more accomplished because we still see ourselves a certain way. And guess what? That doesn't change until your perspective does. And I wanted to share that because that doesn't happen every day. Right? People don't just come along, tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you're worth more than you're acting like you are. You know, I'm incredibly fortunate to have that experience and maybe you're at that point where you need that little. How are you defining your worth? How do you see yourself? Because once you begin to look uh, at yourself as one of the best, the world conforms, and it's a pretty amazing thing. You start doing better work, you radiate confidence, you realize that there's a stupid amount of money out there, and the reason you don't have more of it is because of yourself and your perspective. You grow faster, you surround yourself with more people like you, and all of that comes from believing. So ask yourself that question, in what areas of your life are you capping yourself off? Now the second piece is around putting yourself in a situation where these little realizations emerge. In the book, Ego is the Enemy, Ryan Holiday says, confidence is earned. Day in and day out, moving forward even when things suck, moving through the lows, and as time progresses, this plays hand in hand with that self-confidence that I was just talking about. 
because suddenly you have the experience, you have the talent, you have the track record to back it up. And as time compounds, you're left with incredible results. Right? In last week's video, I talk about human consciousness. It's an emergent property. There's no part of the brain that specifically controls human consciousness, or at least is undiscovered at this point. All we know is that when all those pieces up there come together, consciousness somehow emerges. It's an incredible thing, provides opportunity, changes the way we see the world, sets us apart from every other living organism. Can't break it down, but it exists. And I believe that life is very simple. Working hard every day, taking those tiny steps, not giving up, driving towards some invisible destination. All those little things come together and put you in position. They open the door for opportunities that will emerge down the road. They set up the people that will come into your life, the things, the opportunities that await. A lot of ways you can't plan for them, but you're building a platform that enables success. Those little pieces come together and create something bigger than the sum of their parts, something that wasn't there originally. You can't succeed with only the vision. You can't succeed by blindly taking action. These two things work together and open doors. So believe that you're great, that you're worthy of nothing but the best. Have the framework, have the plan, and then go out every day and build it. Rain or shine, little by little, build it. And you'll be amazed at the amount of power and control you have over your own destiny. Vision and execution are a beautiful combination and will take you to some amazing places.